Alright, Zombie Apocalypse Diaries, 27 June 2014. I uh, wanted to talk about uh, an idea I had for communication uh, in a zombie-free network. Um, outside of this show, I've been calling it a mesh network. It's, uh, it's a descriptor, it's what it is. It's a uh, mesh, uh, where everything is meshed together. Um, how it works is, and this is something that can be done almost immediately, uh, we will have to get some assistance from the uh, Amateur Radio Relay League uh, to lobby for a new ham license. But uh, here's, the situ here's the deal, here's how this network works. We use the infrastructure, existing infrastructure on VPNs, Virtual Private Network infrastructure, on wireless devices. We already have the infrastructure there. We already have the rights and privileges to use it. We just need to start doing it. Uh, what we do is we create software that allows this protocol to exist on our routers and translates it to our computer for us. And it's strictly text. It's strictly textual communications for now. Um, there's an upgrade to video. But uh, this is completely unencrypted. It's textual communications. You address it to whomever you're addressing it to, and there will be an address addressing system that will have to uh, be coordinated according to the uh, structure. But we connect to each other's wireless devices on virtual private network protocol, using, using boosted signal strength and things like that to uh, get as much reach as we can. The more people that participate, the easier this is. So. Uh, you know, once we, uh, you know, when we get a small network together, we have to be able to connect to other networks, and that's how this is uh, meshed, intermeshed together with another uh, network. So these, all the clients use the wireless infrastructure, our cell phones, um, our uh, wireless routers, our wireless access points, etc., etc. And that's how we talk to each other on the network, but the networks have to talk to each other, and that uses the HAM system. And it uses relays, which is why we have to have another ham license. We have to have what's called a what I'm calling a client-only license. Now, the client-only license ensures that you are up to date on the regulations, the rules and regulations of how to communicate on the ham network, which is um, social communication, non-pecuniary uh, business communication, um, selling equipment related to ham, etc., etc. Go ahead and look up the ham laws. Um, it's for USC, I'm not, I don't know, CFR, 20, oh, I don't remember, it's, anyway, it's Code of Federal, Code of Federal, Code of Federal Regulations, <laughs> ah, I can't say that one today, and, uh, just go ahead and read through it, uh, you know, pay no mind to the frequencies and all that stuff, because that's all, uh, going to be taken care of elsewhere, but look at the communication protocol and what you can and can't say and what you can and can't do on the ham network, and that's exactly what we're looking to do on this mesh network. Now, there is no encryption, absolutely, positively no encryption. If we encrypt, that means we have something to hide. If we have something to hide, we have reason to be spied on. So we don't need to be uh, hiding anything. If we can't speak publicly, we shouldn't speak with each other at all. Oh, traffic. Um, so then, once we get this thing uh, big enough, you know, for it's functional, then we, ex we upgrade the system. And what we do is we include a mini computer that is that includes the network uh, wireless protocol, the wireless devices in it, a little bit extra signal strength, uh, the maximum amount of a while law, or allows us to use antennas to uh, connect to each other. Still works with Wi-Fi. We can still use it for our Wi-Fi routers for the regular internet, but it's a read-only memory computer pre-programmed on an unerasable EEPROM, a permanently programmed non-upgradable EEPROM so that it can't be flashed at the device itself. It has to be replaced with another chip um, or taken off and flashed manually in a uh, uh, chip flashing device. But So the software that runs on this device is unmodifiable. Once it's installed, that's it. And this software handles all of the traffic and addressing, as well as the communication, and connects the computers, these mini computers together, these little embedded computers, in a daisy chain format. So this allows for video, so we can talk to each other over video, just like, you know, 
if we were having a conversation, if you know, I'm looking at my phone, I'm looking at my reflection of myself, rather it would be, you know, your your face in the uh, phone that I would be speaking to, so we could have a face-to-face -face conversation while I'm driving. <laughs> you know, and you'd be relatively uh, relative to where I'm at, you'd be sitting backwards, going, uh, where are we going? <laughs> but um, so the other thing this does is because it uses just a small computer and it's connected to each other, it's connected to these other computers in a daisy chain fashion, all of these computers become one single computer, a supercomputer, and eventually we get this thing connected globally and we have a global supercomputer owned by the users in a global daisy chain supercomputer network with more computing power than anything on the planet. And it's wholly and completely owned by us. Wholly and completely controlled by us. No interference from governments, nothing. No corporations can get their hands in it, nothing. It's completely free, it's completely owned by the citizens. Completely uses existing rules, regulations, and infrastructure on the ham network. And connects the entire globe pretty cool. Anyway, just got to make it happen. I don't know how, because I can't reach out and make you all cooperate with each other and realize that this is a good idea, that we should be unencrypted in our communications with each other. They should be video eventually, and we should be free to speak to each other globally, anybody. You know, imagine, imagine the kind of barriers that this kind of network would break down. It's what the internet should have been. And it belongs to the people. So, let's make it happen. All right, that's it. That's my description of the mesh network. <sighs> Global mesh network, excuse me. Global video mesh network. <laughs> All right, more fucking traffic. Yay. I'm in, almost in Santa Barbara. I'm on the 101 North. It's two o'clock in the afternoon on Friday and I'm sitting in fucking traffic. All these people want to fucking pride or something, I don't know.